Good morning. Our next program is perform basic operation on signals like adding, subtracting, shifting, and scaling. We have taken a simple example here, UN, subtracted it with a shifted signal, UN minus 4, and done amplitude scaling, that is multiplied by 2. So let us see what are the values and how do we plot it. So first, we'll define a simple time range that is 0, 1, and end point as 10. Without semicolon, we can see the values here. I have taken the first signal as Y1 and I'll define how many ones will be there. Since it is a unit step signal and unit step signal starts from zero. So I'll have here ones, one comma 11 and a square bracket. So these are the ones. Let us see, they define the next signal as Y2 is equals to, since it is a shifted signal. So first I'll write here zeros bracket one comma, since it is shifted by four here, so I'll have how many zeros? Four, bracket closed, comma. And how many ones here? The remaining will be ones, that is one comma eight, bracket closed. And see, these are the values that I'll have. You can easily identify here that the at initial four places, there is zero, that is it is shifted by four. Next, Y3 is the subtraction of Y1 minus Y2. This is how my signal will look like. Uh, since I've used an underscore here, that is why an error has come here. So again, I'll write here y3 is equals to y1 minus y2. Uh, okay, okay. So see, the error that is coming here is matrix dimensions must agree. Let us see what is the error that I have done here. You can see here n is still 11 values. Y1 is also at 11 values, but in my Y2, I have an extra one. So what do I do? I'll write here seven. Now see, all are this of the same values. Now let us define Y3. So this is the Y3, subtraction of Y1 and Y2. So only at initial four places, I'll have one here. Let us define Y4. Y4 is what? Amplitude scaling of Y3 which is the subtraction of both these signals. So this is the amplitude scaling. To visualize it more, let us plot this signal. I have four signals, so I will divide it into four parts and on the first quadrant, I'll use a subplot command. Next, what I'm going to do since it's a discrete time signal, so I'll use a command stem n comma plot the first command that is y1. Next, again, I'll use the subplot command second quadrant, press and enter. And now I would like to see Y2 signal, which is the shifted signal. Again, in the third quadrant, I would like to see the simple subtraction of both these signals. So I'll write here Y3. And in the last quadrant, that is the fourth quadrant, I'll put stem and Y4, that is my final output signal. So let us see what we have done and analyze it in a better way that how does my waveform looks like. So this is my waveform. Let us see, this is my initial UN signal. The next, where my pointer is, it is shifted by four values. Next, it is the subtraction of this and this. So obviously, from four onwards, it is subtracted, that is zero. So I'll have values only at four points. And the last one, it is scaled by two. So now my amplitude is changed to the two value. So this is how we have done all these things on a single uh, expression. We can also add both these signals, scale these signals to a different value. Thank you.